Jay Kuma. You just, you know. <laughs> the Satsumino Steve. That's what's happening. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I got to say, what? first off, where are you in the tourney? Oh, I had I had to work, bro. Oh, I, I, see, I came I badly. This isn't work for you? Uh, one day, I hope it is. Okay, I hope okay. it is one day. <laughs> I believe. Okay, so we have Devil Jin on the THG Hayato side versus Akuma with the, uh, the Steve H with the patented Akuma. I almost called him Akuma with the patented Steve H. That's how, that's how like, parallel they are with this character. But before we get started, who do you think is the most evil character out of these two? Uh, they both look pretty evil. I don't know. I feel like uh, I think Akuma is more evil because Jin still has like fashion sense and he goes shopping. Fashion sense. Yeah. Like he cares about his looks and it, like does his hair before the match, you know? That's very true. I mean... If you look at Devil Jin, he's clearly not a window shopper as he breaks glass and tries to get him to walk but fails. Oh man, that was <laughs> rough. That was rough. Pushes him on the ground. It's an interesting uh, uh, neutral game going on here. You know, half running into a full five ball. It's not as a good punish on the sweep. It's not dropping his combos. Get to the side so we know how to. Good stuff. See, wow, he was back turned when he woke up. I don't know what happened there. Oh, no punish on either side. Steven. Takes a lot of chances. This is like the opposite game plan that you see Steve normally play. When he plays Tekken, he's like all about the 50-50s. Right. He takes all the chances. He's like, man, I can't move as well, but I know I, I know how to hit you with a 50-50. He's, he's playing 50-50. He's playing like fireball or jump. This he's is exactly playing injustice. He's doing. Pretty much. That's what this oh. looks like. Oh wow, a, a nice launch. Yeah, hit him with the with the, with the black power combo. Base. Wall push is able to get the combo. Oh, how sweet. Okay. Okay. Plus frames. Oh, gas out of it. Maybe it falls. Plus frames. Oh, wow. Giving him shoes. Giving him sandals, boy. Yeah. <laughs> he he looked like he tried to steal it right <laughs> off his feet. <laughs> Giving him sandals, boy. <laughs> well, ducks the throw. Nice punish on the duck throw. Oh, EXDP saying, "Yo, I'm not playing Street Fighter, but I have a DP in this game. I'm good." Yeah, and Steve will use it. I mean, anytime he feels pressured, he's got like a sixth sense about that. He tries to be Daigo Mahara. <laughs> like every time the opponent's pressuring, Steve will guarantee DP. The how are we gonna call that? The Steve H show you? The Steve H show you where it's just always gonna come. It's not when you least expect it. Pretty it's much. when you always expect it. There it is again. Yeah. Steve show you. Well, hits with the overhead. Oh, he gets him in his shin, saying, "My sandals are nice and you clean." You can't Thank have you. these. <laughs> They're on tight. Look at how tight these are on. Right. Jam can't. them into my toes. It's like if you're gonna get my sandals, you gotta clean my feet first. Whose helicopter do you think that is? Um, is that how Devil Jin got there, you think? Or? I think he just flew, man. I think Akuma had like... Yeah, I what does he need a helicopter for? Akuma probably teleported like he's doing these mix-ups on the Devil Jin right now. It breaks the glass. Glass oh. break. I didn't think the glass would break like that on Tatsu. I right. feel like the third or fourth hit. That's kind of funky. Yeah. Oh, get big bro. in the back saying this is my helicopter pad now. It might be Jin's, and Jin might have just transformed when he saw the Satsu you know how to. Again, Jin is a big fan. Of, you know, he's all about presentation. That's right. why he's got the tattoo. That's why he put those chains around his arms, right? They're not functional. Right. So the helicopter is more about making a statement, right? This is how important I am. Well, I mean, the chain would be the chain would be a, a weakness if it was on his, around his neck, right? Because then they could pull it. Good block on the hell sweep. That's why he's got him on his wrist to, like, keep his uh, biceps, like, in uh, in control. As Look at that. Let's it rip. Nothing but unsafe launchers, <laughs> like back to back. Pretty crazy. Oh, good block! Oh, oh he stood too early. Block. He thought he must have thought it was the light version. Hey, look at him. He, he probably got. He probably grew that beard through that whole entire game. Yeah. <laughs> like what you saw in Street Fighter Five is an illusion. He grew oh. that beard. That you whole. have to wake up if you're gonna. Okay. Oh, <laughs> he's he's trying to figure out what's happening, bro. Oh man. He's woke. He's Maybe that was his problem. He tried to play that whole asset oh, with his eyes closed. No. No, I, I will try I this mean, with my eyes open. Well, I mean, if you're playing, if you're a devil gym player, you sold your soul anyway, so you don't need your eyes. You just need your, to listen to your heart and your soul. Your soul that should have been eaten and sucked away. What does that mean? If you don't have a soul, you don't need eyes anymore either. I mean, if you if well, I'm, yes, yes. If you ha don't have a soul, you don't need eyes. Then you don't need the windows to them. I mean, no one can peer in. I guess this is this is something that we gotta we gotta we gotta tackle later. Oh, get off me, duh! Hit him with a super saiyan. One one. Oh, he ducked a one, but he didn't have anything lined up for it. Right. He Waits <laughs> all the time there. Oh, he, he still did it a little bit too early. Oh, shot him in the foot. Hit him with that crip shot in the foot. I mean, blood shot in the foot. It's not a crip. It's blood. I don't know why, but it seems like Hayato is trying to duck a lot of these mids by Steve uh, beyond the range that that any any you know even a sweep I think would work. Right. So here's the thing about Akuma, right? There's two ways you can kind of fight Akuma. You can backdash a lot, or you can actually duck because a lot of his uh his standing two and stuff like that is actually a special mid. Or so you, you can actually duck it. And like oh, his Tatsu and stuff, you can actually duck that too. So a lot of stuff he's doing, you're able to. Um, a lot of stuff he's doing, you're able to uh, duck it. It's just it's just the nature of the character. I mean, there's still the like the 50 with the, the the down three and the wall rising two, but that's pretty much the only like legit like 
dumb 50 50 outside of uh, demon flip stuff that he has. Back to throwing fireballs and playing, you know, playing this uh, Street Fighter and Tekken game. There it is right there. Yeah, Fade DC. Whoa, oh, whoa, no. what the? He moved a little bit too far forward before the DP there. Steve trying to go back into his youth and do a combo video, but that does not work. Eight seconds left on the clock. This is so close. Teleports through oh, him. Oh, I love it's it. The that is such a great option. You don't even do that in Street Fighter. Why would you do that in Tekken? Oh, Here we go. This potentially is the last round for Hayato. Gets swept. Oh, Spring Kicks in the action. Gets punished. DP. Oh, doesn't trust in the mix-up. Doesn't trust in his low forward. There it is again. Yeah, when you fight Steve H, you have to look for that rising two and sidestep because he's always going to do the demon control. Exactly. Oh, shoot him in the foot. Cheap. Okay, good block. Is he going to get punished? Hard. Yep, DP punished. Nice. Nice job. Oh, that's a punish. Yeah. Wow. So, one of the few rage uh, see, he extended it. Right. 